Hi everyone! Welcome to this episode of Inside My Pen Case. Today's special guest is obviously Abby C. Hi! Hi, Hi. Daisy! Hi! So happy Welcome! To be oh my god, I'm having a fangirl moment, or I did for like the first half hour that I that Abby was here. It's so good to have you, Abby. Thank you. Welcome to New York. You've been here Thank for you. a few days now mm -hmm. for um, and Abby's in town actually. Um, she's lived in New York before, so this is not necessarily a new place for her, but mm -hmm. she's here to teach a few travel journaling workshops at yeah. Yoseka. Thank you for yeah, having me. Of course. I mean, I I feel like if we didn't have you here, we would have had like 50 people email us and be like, did you know Abby's in New York? Like, why why isn't she doing a workshop at Yoseka? Everyone's you know? gonna send like, in those emails. Exactly. So I I had to have the idea before <laughs> people had it for me. Um, but it, it, I'm so excited to, to see you again. Me it's too. our second time meeting. We haven't seen each other in like five years. Something like that. Yeah. Kind of. And yeah. I don't even remember our first meeting. Abby came to our Sunnyside shop mm -hmm. um, many years ago, yeah. pre-COVID. And I think it was like the first year that we were open. Yeah. And um, I was just so nervous. So I don't even remember. I don't remember what we talked about. I remember. I don't remember anything. I remember a bit. Like, um, so my friend told me that your shop was open in Sunnyside. I was like, Oh, it, I lived in Queens at the time, so mm -hmm. just near. Yes. I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a train, go there. And I met you and I was like, oh, this is such a nice shop. Aww. And I was like, someday I'm gonna have my washi tapes there. And it happened. No, I'm serious. Happy. Yeah. So I was like, it was really nice. And I think we chatted a bit about like, why you started the shop, why you second started. And like, I don't even remember what I said. Oh, I have like a bit of, <laughs> bit of memory I about blacked it. out. <laughs> but it was really nice and I even bought, I remember I got the hand clip. Yeah, the Gekko. Yeah, and the yeah. Nahe envelope, um, the yellow yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Wow, memories. <laughs> I just remember like, Neil was like, um, FYI, Abby says she's coming and stopping by the shop and you're going to be there at that time. And I was like, oh, all right. right. I think I okay, DM'd, okay. I DM'd uh, Yoseka's Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and my hyperventilation started at that point. <laughs> um, but here we are, five years later, Abby's here to do Inside My Pen Case. Um, we have Abby's washi tapes, we have Abby's, um, her, your zines, yeah. we have your diarist journal, mm -hmm. and we are Abby fans all the way Aww, here at Yoseka. Um, for anybody who doesn't know who Abby is, <laughs> I'm sorry we glazed through that. I'm just like so excited and I feel like everybody already knows who you are, but um, Abby is a very, very talented artist and she has her own brand. She's written lots of books all about mm -hmm. travel journaling yeah. and I don't know, what, what do you, how do you like describe yourself? I think it's hard. Yeah, the it's only hard. You thing do I, so much. I do so much, but the only thing I do say so that it's easier for people to understand is I'm an artist and author. Yeah. But I also do author. like five other things. You yeah. do so much. You make videos, yeah. you have a podcast. Um, so I feel I always tell people to check out your Instagram. Yeah. So check out Abby's Instagram as like a great introduction mm -hmm. to her style and like what kind of artwork she does. Yeah. But a lot of it involves travel journaling mm -hmm. and like different ways to stay inspired while journaling. Yeah. I think it's like also like documenting in general and mm. then different ways I do it like photography, illustration, mm. collage, writing, drawing. Yeah. Yeah. You're such an inspiration. Thank you. Truly. Without further ado, <laughs> um, I've asked Abby mm -hmm. to bring with her um, on her trip to New York some of her uh, favorite pens yep. and journals. And obviously, she has more than just these. I think, like, <laughs> this is like travel friendly edition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So everything is like travel sized and kind of like very, very selected. Mm -hmm. um, items it was hard traveling. by the way hard. yeah it was hard mm, yeah okay. it's like what do i want to put yeah what do i want to bring well i can't wait to see um where should we start should we just start with your pen cases yeah i think pen cases would be a great start okay so i see you have two pen cases here yes um and they're both kind of like really compact versions so mm -hmm. i know these are not like 
your everyday necessarily pen cases, but mm-hmm. maybe the, their travel, their for yeah. Travel, right. I think I wanted to keep it compact, but also have a lot of space for all of the pens that I want to bring mm-hmm. to the trip. Mm-hmm. So this one is my fountain pen case. So this, so has, this is like a rickshaw. Yeah. Wow. Three koozie pen case. It has a starry night. Yeah. Painting. So nice. It's actually given to me by Job of Job's Journal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's like, do you love Van Gogh? So I bought one for you, and I also bought one for me. So Aww. we're twinning. You have so the same exact one. Yeah, we have the same That's exact so one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, these ones have... Um, well, three pens. And it's super... Look, it's just furry. Oh, yeah. I, I, I have feel seen like, these before. I feel like they're traveling yeah. business class. They're like, here, guys. They are traveling business <laughs> class. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the oh best way God. to describe no, it. These pens are more comfortable than I was on my trip to Japan <laughs> with Jacob in my lap. No, they're like nestled in there. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice snug fit. It's cozy. So what you got in there? Okay, I have my three pens. My favorite pens. I recognize these. I know that you use this. It's Wait, for a pen that you use as often as you do, this is like in great shape. Thanks, I tried. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think so. You. Um, so this is obviously the Pilot Custom 823. Yeah. This is the Coeco Student. Mm-hmm. And then this is the Sailor Monyo Pro Gear Slim Nuts. Yes. Okay, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you get a perfect scar. But tell us more about like what, what nib sizes mm-hmm. and like what inks you got inked up in there. Yeah, so this one for the Custom 83, it's a fine nib. And it's the amber colored uh, pen. Yeah, and I then, love the amber. Yeah, I feel like it's when I saw it, I'm like, this is like me in a pen. So I wanted to get it, and it has. It reminds me of Folklore by Taylor Swift. I'm a big Taylor Swift fan, <gasps> so I was like, this is my Folklore pen. Wait, what is that? It's the album of Taylor oh, Swift. It's this all, like, whole pen reminds me of the whole album. Yeah, it's very brown. Okay. Oh. And, like, <laughs> wow. It's brown. Okay. It's brown. It's like I try to associate things okay. with with like. Pop Got culture. It. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is inked um, exclusively with Pilot Iroshizuku Tsukushi. Exclusively? Yeah. I love that. That's such, that's such self-control and restraint. Yes, but also because I'm lazy to wash it out oh, all the time because yeah. it's a vat filler. True, the 823 to wash yeah. it out. Too. But I'm pretty sad that it's discontinued, so I have a big bottle that I try to like save for <gasps> stocking. That's true. It's yeah. discontinued. It's my favorite bra ever. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, Pilot! Pilot. Come on, watching. I don't know why they did that. It was a nice brown. Yeah, it's a nice like everyday brown. Yeah, so I really like it, it for for my journaling and writing. Um, also, when I write with this, I feel like I'm a like a writer because it's heavy. It yeah. has a it has a grip. So it's like a serious. Pen. It's very serious. Like, a little pen. bit of a serious pen, like yeah. when you're in the mood for doing some serious writing. Yeah, like yeah, and also I, yeah, it's basically my grail pen. Do you call that? Like yeah, yeah. yeah this it's is my the grail. pen that you wanted for yeah. a long time, and yeah. you finally got it for mm-hmm. yourself. I do. I see it in a lot of your photos. Yeah, and it's also so photogenic. It's so photogenic. Yeah. I love how it's like a little bit transparent, so you yes. can kind of see the ink through it at yeah. certain angles, mm-hmm. but not every angle. Yeah, exactly. It's a subtle detail. Mm-hmm. Okay, beautiful. And I have to say, all these pens are so your colors too. Yeah, obviously, obviously the, like yes, yeah, yes. Uh, Abby yes. is an autumn. <laughs> I am an autumn. Yeah. yeah, that should be my other name. Yeah. <laughs> so this other pen, um, this is the Coveco Student. Okay. And it is an extra fine nib. Oh, wait, what nib is this? Did fine, you say? fine. Okay. Because German nibs are a bit thicker, mm-hmm. so I chose extra fine. And this is also inked with Pilot. I'm really b- big Such Pilot fan. Yeah. This is Pilot Iroshizuku Yuyake. Oh, okay. the orange one. Yeah, you, you're, you're like good with the matching inks. You like the matching pen and ink combo. Sometimes. Okay. Not all the time, but I just felt like, oh, it'd be nice because this is a an extra fine nib and I wanted like a wet flow. So I put in the Pilot ink because always Pilot fun. is always yeah, great always for the wet flow. so smooth. Yeah, exactly. So um, this is an extra fine and I like the orange because it's a bit... Um, not too bright, it's a bit mm. subdued, mm. but then it's like legible when you write it out on mm. the paper. Yeah, so did you say this is also exclusively inked with Yuyake? No, just no, for just like now. the month. Okay, got yeah. it, got it. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think this is my only one. Well, this one? No, I have like three pens that are exclusively inked with certain... Just because this one's so hard to clean out. Well, yes. I yeah. see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's also a great match. Yeah. So this one is my... I think this is the latest thing that I bought. 
could be. It yeah. is fairly new. It was released like last, last year. year. It yeah. was the last year's Manu yeah. releases. Yeah, right? one of the best colors. Yeah. So the story here is I saw it already in Maido in San Francisco. Look at the thingy. Oh, it's guys. super pretty. There's a nut. It's one nut there. There, there it is. Yeah, so the finial so is a nut and the pen is called nuts. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what were you going to say about this pen? This one, I already saw it in Maido in Japan town in San Francisco. Yeah. And I didn't get it. Oh. The next day, I literally went back to get it. At Maido? Yes. Oh, wow. You, it, you know, it was like still in your head. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those things. Yeah. So I ended up getting it. Yeah. This one is a medium fine MF. Okay. Yeah, it's an MF nib. So this one is, well, this is also exclusively ink with Kobe inks. I love Kobe inks. They're oh, great. You do? That's why when I saw you guys have it, I'm like, could it get some? Oh, you yeah. should swatch them out at the yeah. store later. Yeah, I love Kobe inks. <laughs> Uh, my friend Kara introduced me to Kobe Inks. I love her. Yeah, so she's like, Abby, get all the Kobe Inks. She's a big fan of mm -hmm. the Kobe Inks. Yeah, so, because she also writes pretty... Um, Small. Yes, and like a fast lot. and a oh, lot. Yeah. So I was like, I like wet flow inks, uh -huh. more like Japanese inks. Yeah. So this is currently ink with Kobe number 15, Michael Green. Oh, okay. I was on the hunt for the perfect everyday green yeah. that was like writable and I won't get annoyed looking at it every day. Yeah. Because this is also for my work notes and meeting notes. I see. Yeah, so it's Michael Green. Okay, cool. Kind of matching. Yeah. yeah. Um, so these are, you use your fountain pens for writing, really, yeah. right? Yeah. Not really for drawing as no. much. No, I tried, but it doesn't work for me. Really? Yeah, I feel like I still gravitate towards like fine liner pens. You have specific pens. Yeah, because I've always been using that since yeah. I was a kid. So mm. I think it kind of just like translated. Got it, yeah. got it. Mm -hmm. So just, just specifically for writing. That's why like, I guess you do have more of the finer nibs too, yes. because you do write a lot and like yes. in those grids and, and it's very stuff. tiny yeah you see in my journals yeah. later how tiny my handwriting is yeah i get a lot of flack for it from my friends like, why it's so tiny yeah. for me it's like so you can't see it <laughs> so you can't read it you can't see it, it just gets like smaller and smaller it's like you can't the zoom years. it in it's like meant to be like that yeah. the smaller it is the more private the book is <laughs> <laughs> pretty much pretty much okay well yeah these are such beautiful pens i feel like yeah, I, I don't know if everybody knew about these pens. They are actually, these two like are some of our, one of our most popular, two of our most popular pens like mm -hmm. in the store. Yeah. Because we do have them out on display and mm -hmm. people always look for them because they're beautiful. Like, yeah. They yeah. Are. They really yeah. just like pull you into mm -hmm. them and make you want to try them. Yeah. That was your pen, fountain pens in your rickshaw yes. um, pen sleeve and then you also have this little yeah. pen case, This is right? a tiny pen case that I bring with me everywhere. It fits all my bags. So this was made in the Philippines. So I like supporting a lot of local, because I'm from the Philippines. I yeah. grew up in the Philippines. This is from a local shop in the Philippines yeah, called I'll show this one. Bags by Rubber Tree. And they have a pen case. And it's super tiny. Mm. So it's, you can see it's very much it's, used. It's really nice. I like how flat it is. Yes. But it's like... But it has room inside. Yeah. 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 And it's also like... A soft leather, but it's not flimsy. Yes. Yeah. You know, it still holds mm -hmm. its shape, which is really I like nice. it also looks like an envelope. Oh yes. it's a cute envelope so with cute. two buttons. Because usually it's like here, right? Yeah. In the center. So yeah. I was like, oh well, these are so cute. Yeah. Yeah. So this one holds most of my non-fountain pens. Okay. Sometimes I like to put one fountain pen, but also I don't like that they kind of scratch might scratch the other pens. Right, because your pens are pristine, as I was saying mm -hmm. before. Like, if you get to the store later, you're going to look at our fountain pens and be like, what have you been doing to these fountain pens? <laughs> they get, like, treatment every month. Spa. <laughs> I mean, they travel in first class. They do. <laughs> Should we tuck them back in? They're yeah. probably cold. <laughs> they need to hide in their tubes yeah. now. Bye-bye, custom 823. <laughs> Good night. They're still jet lag. Good night, pens. Yeah, get some rest. Mm -hmm. You have lots of writing to do later. <laughs> so these ones, I just have like basic drawing pens. You will see, I'm pretty sure it's very familiar pens. Mm. This is the Pentel Touch. Mm. Yeah, this yeah. is like such a great pen. Yeah, everyone loves the Pentel Touch. So it's this a... is the touch sign mm -hmm. from Pentel, mm -hmm. and it's a felt tip. Flex, yes. flexible mm -hmm. felt tip. And then this one is a uni... Kurutoga, uh, no, not fountain pen, <laughs> mechanical pencil. Yes. 
Um, usually wouldn't reach for this, but my one of my cousins gifted this to me, and she's a painter. Ooh. And we're really close. She's like, I think this is a well-engineered mechanical pencil. Yes, it so is. So I have, as, as I've heard about it yeah. also. So I was like, okay, this is coming with me, and I just like it's like simple. It's not so over the top bright. I like my things very neutral. Like mm. when I'm working on them or like drawing, it's like just gray pens, black pens. Yeah. And then my fountain pens get all the colors. Right. You're like serious when you're yeah. drawing about. I try to be. Yeah. yeah. Try to be. Mm. Yeah. So this one, I'm not sure if you have it in the U.S. It's a Sakura Pigma Micron PN. Okay. PN I, a is, special version. Of I it. think so. We have it in Germany, mm. but this is a plastic nib. Oh. So it looks like this. So it doesn't wear away. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. And I think it gets a lot of um, range of the drawing yeah. styles that I need. So I really like it and I have a big stock of them back home. So That's yeah. cool. I don't know if we have those in the mm -hmm. US, but so you prefer the plastic nib to the felt like that? Well, not necessarily. Like when I see this, I buy it, but oh. usually I also use just like 0 0.3, 0 0.5, like the usual ones yeah. that on the range. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not very particular with my drawing pens. I just know that they work and draw. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Can yeah. you show us some of what you do with these okay. when you draw? How is this live demo? Or or, kind of. or in that, like where are we looking? Um, yeah, so like for example, if I'm gonna draw a pen, I just like that this has like a lot of, um, you can kind of press on it and like it, it establishes a bit of like line work. Ah. And when I draw, it's not, um, it's not like I draw a full like, how do you say it like it's very um defined shape i like to make it look mm. a bit more sketchy if that makes sense yeah yeah so then this kind of acts like a pencil but in ink form so, so more often you're using um yeah so i often use this and this and then this one is more like uh this is a very um simple fountain pen um the touch sign yeah oh so like, like for shape yeah right or like now, i don't like... know adding like extra texture yeah and, yeah, so you can get like a dark bold line, right? Yeah, and also I use this for lettering. Mm, yeah, it is a great lettering yeah. pen. So it has a, like enough like depth of like um, when you put pressure on it, it becomes a bit thicker. Mm -hmm. So that's a good. Um, um, I really like it for. It's like very multi-purpose. Like mm. when I use it for journaling, I also write a bit of like lettering on it. Yeah. So then I need this for that purpose. So cool. I can't yeah. believe you just doodled that. The heck, Ooh. Abby. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So mm -hmm. have like on your trip like to New York so far, you've I'm I guess you've already kind of had to reach for some of these drawing yeah. tools, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Very cool. And when you're out and about drawing, these are pretty travel friendly. They're yeah, I just shove them in my bag. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can tell this one's gotten. It's gotten a lot of wear and work, tear, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Cool. It's doing its job. Yeah. yeah. Shall we move on to your journal? Of course. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, so Abby has also prepared some journals that she uses that she writes in. Mm -hmm. um, which one do you want to start on? I think we could start with the weeks because there's another fountain pen that's like lying around with okay. no pen. I was going to say, like you have this three fountain pen yeah. case, but then what do you do if you want to add a fourth? Well, <laughs> actually, this one goes here because it's um, tiny. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we're looking yeah. at the Hobonichi weeks mm -hmm. here, and then this is obviously the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini. Yeah. Um, in this is one of Many the Morocco white. colors. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was a Morocco color. That's I just what they know call them. Oh, like it's white and it's gold. Mm, and yeah. I have, I wear They're white all the time. Yeah. 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 So yeah, and it's really tiny. So this one is also a medium fine, because I kind of realized that Sailor having medium fine nibs was like I love this nib. Yeah, I know. I was like, it's great. So I'm just gonna get all the medium fine. <laughs> so like, like your size. I'm, I'm a creature of habit yeah. and like pen nib preference. It's really like the perfect nib size yeah. for writing. Mm -hmm. um, it's really, really just like, it's not fine and it's not medium. It's in yeah. between exactly. <laughs> for all those Goldilocks. Yeah. You know? Oh, it's a Goldilocks moment. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah, I would say it's a Goldilocks moment. <laughs> um, yeah. So this one is um, it's mini. It's really lightweight. So I always bring the bring it with me whenever I'm like out in a cafe working, mm -hmm. planning, and it's also exclusively inked with a Sailor ink. It's Sailor Yurameku. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is a really nice like you'll see it in my. Um, my weeks, but it's a nice 
every day ink, but it's not black. Right, right. It's right. not brown because I'm like I use brown all the time. You I have use green too all the time. Yeah. I'm like Abby, you're too cliche. Like, what else can you do? And then when I got them this week's um, cover, I was like. Okay, I think I want something a bit more neutral, but right. also like kind of matches the cream paper inside and also the also cover. Also, has to be legible, right? Yes, that's, like, such that's the most important neutrals. thing. Yeah, <laughs> like neutral, legible, but also not brown. Right, yeah. right. So what do you use this Hobonichi Weeks for? So this is my everyday carry like tasks. My entire life is in this book. Ooh. Basically, I mean, Hobonichi markets itself as a life book. Yeah. So this is my life book. It is your life book. It's uh, my life book. Yeah, life um, notebook. Life notebook. <laughs> so this one has a lot of my work tasks and my schedules because, okay. and this is me. Ah! Yeah, I had to commission a friend to draw me. Oh I was like, that's me. That's so cute. Um, so yeah, this is my um, everyday planner slash notebook. Mm. But it's really not a journal. It's really like for all the work tasks I need to do. It's all here. Okay. Like, I'll show you like. So it's not for rumination. No, it's, it's really for functionality. Yeah. And like. Being an adult, being a proper adult. Oh, right. like adult. Yeah, it's like all the adult stuff goes yeah. here. Yeah. So all of the things I need to do in a month and like my schedules because you know there's a lot of things I have to do like go to therapy and yeah. like fly book a flight and yeah. do all these tasks. Right, so I right. always look at this so that it's easier for me to kind of refer back. So I realized. I can't just survive on Google Calendar. I need a, mm. an analog planner for it. So this would you put like a date with a friend in this book or yes. no? You would? Yes. Okay. My entire life. Okay. Yeah. Appointments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got mm -hmm. it. Okay. But most of like the friend stuff or like social stuff or personal stuff, I have my journal to kind of write about it. Right. It's right. more like for, okay, getting the plans across and making sure it doesn't overlap. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what it's for. And it's like an example of my... Um, tasks like Ooh. this was like before coming here like my your handwriting really, is so small it's tiny it's not it's just tiny. like within this grid it's half of the grid <laughs> <laughs> it's like right uh, right right it's very tiny oh my goodness my mom always tells me like actually why is your handwriting so small i'm like i don't know maybe i need more space oh, that's why but it's really neat mm -hmm. like my mom was always after me to write neater she always thought my handwriting was so messy Aww. um but yours is so neat like but i have to give it say. i have to give credit to my mom though she has really legible handwriting. she does she's the og calligrapher in, <gasps> in our house yeah like she did calligraphy and um chinese calligraphy oh, she had wow. stacks of awards for it oh my god yeah yeah so is that why you got into it like probably but also in school but then again she always like asked me like you have to write better like it has to be neat like she when you write for the cards and that. stuff yeah. yeah so kind of yeah yeah, credits that to her. reminds me of like Ashley, because Ashley, her mom also did calligraphy and mm -hmm. then she grew up to have like amazing calligraphy as oh, well. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Generally, in a week, I try to like, I use the unique kurtoga to like put a line. And then all the things I have to do, like time bound, are here. Mm. And then everything else is like so here. So you use the line, the, li yeah. the invisible line, yeah. I think is what they call mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I try to do it also with this one, but okay. then I was like, it's too narrow. Then you just have like tiny squares. Yeah, unless I'm doing like a meal plan or anything, right. but I'm not. So it's all here and then I try to write everything I need to get done here. Like see, also my grocery stuff is also here. Got it. Yeah, like yeah. just adult stuff and like meetings and stuff I might forget. Mm -hmm. And then they get transferred here depending on what my plans are. And there are some like key things like for example i think it's if it's starred or something oh wait um, so this is like everything you need to get done and then this is like how you break it yes. down by the day yeah that's always oh, how, I, how i've I done see. my planners mm -hmm. so i always have planners that have like a left side for the dates and then yeah. the right side for whatever things that i need to get done i love i like that because it's just i can't really predict what would happen that day and let's say something happens that it's unforeseeable or like, oh, I have to cancel something, then I could just like figure out what other day is open for mm -hmm. it. Yeah, because my routine is very, I don't have a routine. I don't have a set schedule. Mm -hmm. I get to plan everything. So then I have to make sure that I regulate it in a way that works for me. Right, right. Because otherwise I'm going to get crazy and yeah. like panic and like not work anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I also have like starred, um, things which is like i have to post something on patreon i have to announce this one mm. so there are these um things so yeah that's pretty much what i do with my hobonichi weeks and i started this uh, format in the spring and i'm very happy about it so i'm pretty much 
set with the week. So, so is like, this a spring start? Yeah, it's a spring start. Oh, okay, right. I think this came out this spring. This cover is this a spring cover. start cover. Yeah, um, it's from a botanist, I think. I know, I love it's, this cover. Yeah, I had his previous one like two, three years ago. Yeah. Like daisies one or something, or flowers uh-huh. sometimes. Yeah. So I was like, when I saw it, I'm like, oh no. Oh no, oh, I have no, to get it. I have to get it. So I want it. No, it's I have to get it. Oh, so Yeah, it suits yeah. you. And you found Thanks. the perfect ink for it too. Yeah. It's also like nice because the uh, Tomoe River paper like shows the color changing property, so it's yes, not it's so done. obvious, but there is like subtle like green yeah. and like pinks. Yeah. So I don't know. It's it's small, but I like it. So. Yes. Yeah. This is a good. This is a good ink also for mm-hmm. it because it's like different, but it's not too fun. You know, yes. it's not like bright pink or something. I think I'm not too fun in that way because yeah. when I work I'm like I kind of want to make it serious like I get kind of alarmed when something is like really bright right on it it kind of makes you anxious if it like does. the whole page is bright it's red. like it's urgent like <laughs> yeah. do it with right, the big right, red right. dot this there like, call me yeah we, I have to make, my, my whole schedule is very chaotic so I try to calm myself down yeah. in very subtle ways yeah that's why you're always in the neutral call <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah pretty much you're just trying to sedate yourself mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah, this is my everyday. Um, also, I've never shown this anywhere on the internet. So what a treat! It's exclusive. Thank to you. Yosaka. Exclusive. Yeah. We love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we love it. Um, okay, cool. I love that. All right, Abby. Thank you so much for showing us your Hobonichi You're Weeks kind of life life book. Life book, as Hobonichi says. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of us on on Yoseka at, at the at Yoseka use this planner. Yeah, actually, we're all great. great fans of it. Um, it's we're so team funny. weeks. It's so funny, I went to Hobonichi and I told them that like the weeks is my probably one of my favorite ones. Yeah. And they were all kind of like really surprised to hear that because mm. I don't think it's like their primary really? one that they think of. Is it the cousin maybe? Or the yeah, A6, I the original? Yeah, it it's either the A6 or the cousin. Like when I went there, they were all using cousins or A6s because mm-hmm. with the cover on cover, yeah. you know, they not the cover on cover, the covers. Yeah. Yeah, they use that. Um, anyway, I love the weeks. I'm glad to see that you do too. We are team and weeks. We are team weeks. Um, and then the last planner kind of notebook yeah. that we have here on the table that you've prepared is it's your chunky. traveler's notebook passport yeah. size. Mm-hmm. So tell us about this one. It's so decked out. Yeah, but it's less than a year old. Really? Yeah, yeah, it looks so used, right? It looks like lived in. Yeah. yeah. Actually, the backstory is like five or six years ago, I first bought a Traveler's Notebook in the same color and the same size. Mm-hmm. But I sold it because I couldn't figure out a way to use a passport. And then I switched to the standard size. Oh, you sold yeah, it. Yeah, I sold it to a friend and I was like, okay. And then, I don't know, for some reason last year I bought this um, from... Kiroku, it's a shop in yeah. Leipzig. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they say hi, by the way. Hi. So um, I was like, okay, I'll pick it up when I visit you in Leipzig. And ever since that, I was like, found, you know, when you like get the cover, you're like, you have this like connection to it. It's yeah. so cheesy. But like, I was like, oh, I feel like I want to use this all the time. So that's what it's been. So yeah. this has traveled me a lot around Germany, yeah. like train trips and all the trips because it just has a lot of room for notes. Mm. As you can see here, it's mega chunky it's so thick i try to customize it as much as possible to make it useful for me it's so, it, so yeah even the yeah. charms like mm-hmm. i love this little it's charm little mine. It's so cute yeah from moomin oh it's yeah so it's like uh. it's like sometimes this is my mood when oh i'm traveling like, don't bother don't me, to me. Don't, don't talk to me like mm, i'm looking at you so yeah, so um, I also have a sunflowers charm I because love it's it. my favorite fun little painting. Wow. Yeah. yeah. The sunflower charm. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. Thanks. And then I have a clip for the uni ball. One key. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. Key. Super cute. So cute. And it just fits right in yeah. like the size. It's so wise. perfect for the passport yeah. size. Yeah. So every time I need a pen or something to write notes with, I just bring this everywhere. So this one and my other pen case where I house my sketching tools are always in my tiny bag. Mm, yeah. I got it. Yeah. So this is like a half wallet, half journal, half travel log situation. Okay. So these, I have like some cash in and like my card is inside. Because mm-hmm. um, I realized when I travel, I don't need my ID because it's German. Right, right. Because it makes right, sense. Right. So I kept it out. Um, I have a craft folder here. So I keep random receipts and I went to a Chinese restaurant the other day and in New York. Yes. Today's action becomes tomorrow's habit. Yeah. That's great. 
Yeah, and it's very motivating. It is motivating. Yeah. 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 So this is um, a half trip refill okay. with the MD paper white. Okay. Right. So I didn't know what to do with this, but then I ended up like drawing on it. <gasps> Wow. So I was it like, looks so great. And I know you have like an obsession with signs right now. I am right? obsessed with signs. Yeah. Is it's it a, always been or is it yes. like current? Oh, really? Because I used to do hand lettering, right? Yeah. So I've always looked at, when I went to New York the first time, I was always looking up and I'm like, who did the design for this? Like, what is this sign? Yeah. Like, the typography. This is Helvetica. I'm oh. such a huge type nerd that, yeah. like, I always like looking at signs because when you go to a different city, it looks different. Mm. It kind of defines the city in some way. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So I like looking at signs. I also like looking at doors. So I went to Colombia and my cousin took me around and I'm like, I'm gonna draw all the doors. So these yes. are one of the, this is one of the doors Love, to the library. That's so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. So I like um, doing signs and stuff. So I also tried doing um, yeah. So this became like my casual sketchbook. Wow, Washington Square Park. Yeah. So I was jet lagged. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna. It was go also just so park. hot this day. <laughs> yeah, so, so I, hit, I hit under the shade <laughs> and it wasn't super sunny before 10 o'clock. Oh, so I was like, okay, this was a good time to like walk around and hide under the shade. Yeah. Um, so I tried drawing on location, which is what I did here. Like I had the view of the arch in front of me and then I was just drawing. Mm. And I also like street lights for some reason. So it, you'll see that there's a recurring pattern in my illustrations. It's always like leaves, trees, buildings, street signs, doors, yeah. and signs, and yeah. logos in general. Right. Yeah. And yeah, I also did this one. You went to Strand. Yeah, it's my favorite bookstore in mm. New York. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So I will definitely fill this up. I'm yeah. also excited to show the workshoppers. But like, look, you haven't seen this yet. That here. Is so cool Exclusive. for them to see. Yeah. So ah. yeah. So this is um, my sketch journal, kind of. Yeah. So anything like I have extra cards. I usually like snoop in at a restaurant and look for their business card. Like, yeah. Do you have a business card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, then it all goes. It all gets incorporated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one is also. This is oh, a stack I love sticker. That sticker. It's so pretty, right? It's so nice. I was like, where will I stick it? And I was like, it looks so good on the craft. It looks amazing. Yeah. yeah. And it's very vintage looking. It's the so perfect size too. It was the perfect size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's you know it's for luggage, so it's like pretty good quality. Oh, yeah. it's a luggage yeah. sticker. Got mm -hmm. it. So yeah, this is like my euros when I get back to Germany so my cash is there yeah so this is a new format that I've been trying to do where it's like I this is an undated right. weekly memo right. so it's my travel log and since I travel a lot and I'll be traveling a lot this year I thought it'd be nice to have a travel log and not have a date on it mm -hmm. so then all of my trips are housed in this travel log Got like it. a trip log Okay. Not a plan, it's a log. Right. Yeah. So I literally use the this spread to do my scheduling mm. of events. Yeah. Like my workshops, where wow, I'm going. Wow, you got travels every month. Eras tour. This is my Taylor Swift Eras tour. Just for this summer. It's, oh, it's pretty <laughs> busy. I, was, I wasn't I was prepared. You live so. your life in terms of Taylor Swift albums. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan. But um, yeah, initially I was just going to plan to go to New York. That was the whole thing. Like, yeah. That's the only plan. Everything else kind of like popped in in between. And you're like, I need to get something. Yeah, so I need to like get something. So what I did was um, when I went to Italy, I started to put in the dates of okay. when I was going. Yeah. And then I, I did like some... You know, like what I did that day, basically. Uh -huh, it's uh -huh. like a log. I also like to write, I wrote all the gelato flavors I've tried. Ooh, I like to on do the my, trip. Yeah, because oh. I had gelato every day. Because it's of course, of course. I gotta do yeah, that. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah, meal. exactly. <laughs> um, and also drinks log and everything. So I try to also do a bit of deco here and there to like, I don't know, add a bit of like character to it. I mm. also use the Traveler's Notebook sticker. You know, every year they come yes. out with the set. The yes. set. I was like, I never use this. That's the print on, right? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I never use this. So I was like, might as well put it. Oh, on. no, this is not print. Oh, no. This is, like actual this is the actual sticker. Okay, okay. Yeah. This is um, a sticker set from a local shop in the Philippines mm. called Crafts Delight. And she sent me like a bunch of the number stickers. I'm like, I'm going to use it for this purpose. That's so perfect. Mm -hmm. So I pre decorated it's New York. I love it. Yeah. So I try to do it like that. And I actually did a whole. Um, sticking stickathon where it's like okay I'm gonna stick all the dates so fun it's fun it's very satisfying so yeah so that's what it is and it's not really detailed but it's like so I know what happened that yeah. day because yeah. this is gonna be what I use for my journaling yeah. right because yeah. otherwise I'd look at my phone and I don't want to get like 
you know, confused camera roll photos are uh -huh. very, it's very like overwhelming. So this right. is like an easier way to like yeah. log everything. Also like once you're on your phone, you get so distracted. I hate it. Yeah. I always it's, open my phone like, wait, what did I get my phone and for what again? And what like, was I supposed, what app I was supposed to right, open? Right, exactly. And then you, you like go through like the, Oh my God. It's so bad. It happens all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. This one I've always been using this for probably like two, three years now. This mm -hmm. same insert, it's a grid one. Mm -hmm. So it's very um, basic. It's Abby in the USA. It's trip notes, so it's more detailed. Mm. Like what we ordered at a restaurant or like what I bought from this shop. Mm. So that's what this one is. It's very detailed. Oh, I also don't show it that much, but yeah. it's like uh, basically like Thursday, what I did and which location, like I went to East Village, I went to Grand Central. So I like to do this because it just helps me like remember things more. Yeah, for sure. And I also like um, looking at writing. Recently, I've been writing like interesting conversations. Mm, yeah. Because these are things you forget. You do. And I'm like, yeah, I talked about it with this friend and also my cousin and this other friend yeah. and with you. And I was like, I want to remember these things, even sure. if it's like not very specific. Just yeah. like, oh, we talked about, I don't know, the history of New York. Right, right, right. So that's what I do. I also have some notes. It's like my inner dialogue kind of notebook, if yeah. that makes sense. Like, it's like, oh, I didn't bring my app iPad this trip. Now I regret it mm. because I'm on my phone. Mm. It's yeah. either phone or laptop. Right, so right. these are things I try to do so that next time when I travel, I know what to decide on. Mm -hmm. Or like, oh, it was too hot this trip. I'm not going to go. Um, when I went to Italy, it was 38 degrees, which all was like 100. Right. And wow. I was like, I'm not going in That's July. So crazy. Yeah. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. Stuff like right, that. Yeah. So it's like, I like to use it as a way to kind of learn uh -huh. from traveling because I travel a lot. So yeah. it's like a way for me to kind of make sense of things. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty so much it. these are like very tra like when you're at home and you're using this as your wallet, you obviously don't have yeah. the same refills yeah. inside. These are out of it, right? Yeah. So this is specifically like you would pop them in right before a trip, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you would put in different ones yeah. when you're actually at home. Yeah, exactly. So what do you use this for? Is it like much lighter when you're at home and it's like not as much travel yeah. stuff? Yeah, I do have this one and the. Mm -hmm. uh, is it the PVC case with card case? Yes. So I have my IDs there. Oh, got it. And just one, I have a notebook called ABC Deutschland because it's ABC in D mm -hmm. Deutschland yeah, yeah. in Germany. Yeah. So it has it's a dotted um, insert when it's all my like um, admin notes, like German stuff, because mm -hmm. Germany is known for paperwork. Really? We love. I don't hate. I don't love it, but they love their paperwork. So I always have it on me, like in case my phone dies, I need some ID number or something. Wait, really? Yes. It's that bad. Wow. Okay. But also, I just want to, like, if I need to do admin stuff, at least I have it in one place, like yeah. my wallet, my info. Like, yeah. they're gonna ask some random, "What's your PIN number?" Whatever. So like it's, my password book. I yeah. Have a password book. Yeah. Yeah. I have it on my phone, but I need it also physically yeah. because if my phone dies, mm -hmm. if it gets stolen, what yeah. am I gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what this is for at home stuff. I see. Yeah. But I this see. is specifically for travel, and I think it's my first time taking it out like in this setup, and yeah. I really like it so i'm definitely going to carry it over for my future trips mm. yeah and you have one coming up you're going to sf pen show i am going to sf pen show That's i'm your excited next yeah. yeah well i i just love how pleasing this is it's, it's so chunk. compact and the pen the fact that the pen like sits atop this chunky like, it's having the time of his yeah, life yeah i don't know it's just the whole it suits the the notebook yeah. itself mm -hmm. so well too this is like so good to see <laughs> um well thank you so much abby you showed us your traveler's notebook yeah. you showed us your hobonichi weeks kind of like life book mm -hmm. um and then your uh three fountain pen case mm -hmm. here with the rickshaw pen case and also your sketching art, tools yes yeah. sketching art tools let's not forget this beautiful yeah. sailor baby. mini over here yeah. so cute I love it um i appreciate you taking us on a tour of Welcome. all of your favorite pen pens and tools that you yeah. use um and before before we kind of sign off in this video i do want to show these amazing it's my first time seeing them also i know right <laughs> so, i don't even touch them for oh, touch them <laughs> touch them yeah um touch. so abby actually designed for our workshop um and for and also for kind of like online orders that we have a beautiful sticker. I'm obsessed with this sticker. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. I was like, 
should I write it? Because I understand it and I can write Chinese. I'm like, hopefully they like it. I love it. I love it. I lit up when I saw this. And then how, like, after this conversation with you where I, like, now know, like, how much you love street signs, like, I feel like this is even more, like, something Special. that I cherish. Yeah. Um, so this is Signs of New York, yes. obviously featuring some of like Strand mm -hmm. and MTA, then, and yeah, and the G train, yes, all yeah. these things. Um, and then obviously our little Yoseka mm -hmm. store logo there too. So um, just want to show you all these beautiful things that Abby designed for hey. us. We are so in love with them, and um, we still have them to include in orders for anybody who wants to celebrate our collaboration. Yeah. With, Yos with, Yos with Abby, which we're so excited about. So I think that's about it for this episode of Inside My Pen Case with Abby. And I thank you all so much for watching. Um, please do check out Abby's Instagram and her Patreon and her books, which are such sources of inspiration. Um, we love her and we hope you all have enjoyed this episode and gotten some inspiration Yay. out of it as well. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.